All right, guys, so we got the plane wave system up and running. It's our L350 CDK 14. It's running. We're shooting M106, a Galaxy up in Ursa Major. And we're going to do about an hour and a half of color data and about an hour and a half of luminance. And uh, we'll just let this thing run for the next three hours and we'll check in on it. All from the driveway, <laughs> with a pretty much full moon out as well. So it's crazy bright, but it's still fun though. So we're gonna set up the mount, do some testing with the CDK-14. Okay, we just rolled the mount out. There's gonna be a small notch on the side of the azimuth base. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, I'm gonna point this to the South. And if we were in the southern hemisphere, it'd be opposite. We'd be pointing this side of the notch on the northern side of the azimuth base. Okay, so I brought the telescope out sitting on the ground and the altitude axis is nice and locked. We have the clamp opened up and we have the azimuth base locked as well. So we don't want it to move around while we're attaching this. So everything's secure. I'm going to lift up the telescope now and put it on. The ZWO camera again. And then we will plug in our EFA kit again, which we just set on the side. All right, now we're gonna power on the EFA, 12 volt. And now I will plug in our camera connections. Plug in the power. We're gonna power on the mount. The mount's powered on. Next, we're gonna connect the mount in PWI-4. We're gonna click enable azimuth, enable altitude, and then we're gonna home the mount. All right, now that the mount is homed, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I'm connected in PWI-3 which is our software for controlling the focuser, which I am, which is good. And we're at about the same focus point as last night. Next, I'm gonna make sure I'm connected to my camera. I'm connected to my camera and the camera is currently cooling. So right now, we're gonna wait for it to get dark out and then start doing some imaging. Okay, we have the mount set up. We're connected to our camera. First thing we need to do is home the mount in software. The mount is going to go to the home position for the altitude and azimuth. And from here, we're going to make sure that we have no previous pointing model. And click clear. And now we're going to click build pointing model. Okay, first time we're just gonna click take single image and solve. And we'll hopefully get lucky and we'll be able to record the first point in the model. Do that. And it's analyzing. And look, first point added to the model there. And now it's offset the system to where it's actually pointing in the night sky. And now we're gonna build a little bit larger of a model. We're gonna click add spaced points. And I'm gonna do a 20 point model. Just for starters tonight. And we're gonna click start. It's gonna go run through the pointing model.
Okay, so now that our model has just finished, we're gonna close the pointing model dialog. We're gonna go back to PWI 4, and we're gonna click commands, save model as default. And now each time we power cycle, if this was permanently set up, it would recall that same pointing model. And to double check and see how the pointing model came out, within that sort of a pointing model, we now have a pointing accuracy of uh, 8.3 arc seconds, just with a 17 point model. All right, I'm gonna perform a focusing V curve in PWI 3. Step size, 500 microns five images. I'm going to do six second exposures and use binning one by one. So all I'm going to need to do is click start autofocus. All right, so it's calculated best focus is at 8620. 8,620 microns, here is our V-curve, and the focuser automatically went to that position. So now we are in focus and ready to start doing some imaging. We have a photo of a galaxy, which is pretty beautiful. Wow, that's amazing. Pinpoint stars, that's the core of M106, a beautiful galaxy in Ursa Major. And I think we're actually gonna go ahead and shoot some, some data on this and, uh, and let it run. Should be pretty cool. I'm gonna do maybe five minute subs, but that might be a little bit too long, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see how they turn out here with the, the bright moon in the sky. Well, we're all finished up for the night. I'm gonna pack up, shut everything down. But got some pretty cool data, got some fun shots. Getting quicker at setting this thing up too. Makes it easier when I mark the dovetail for finding balance. I don't have to worry about that anymore. And uh, I might mark the concrete as well, just so I know exactly where these wheels go. It just makes it a little bit easier when doing the initial pointing model, but this thing can be off numerous degrees and the pointing model will still be able to capture the, the first point and then move on and capture the remaining points. But uh, the moon came up, it's bright, really bright. But uh, we had a good fun night and the Big Dipper's way up there and that's where we finished up shooting. So we're gonna pack this sucker up and go inside and go to bed.